Good afternoon. It's a real pleasure to be here this afternoon to demonstrate our e-learning environment. We currently have 50 students from across the northern region of New South Wales enrolled in our Certificate 2 in Business. The students are Year 11 and Year 12 students that complete this qualification as part of their HSC. We're seeing a real trend in students looking to complete a gap year completing this qualification as it gives them a vocational qualification, providing them with the skills and knowledge they need to achieve a job in that gap year. I've been delivering this course to HSC students for about five years. Previously, we've used Adobe Connect, our virtual classroom, which is um, a web conferencing tool, which I'm presenting to you from today. We've used this on a uh, weekly basis, a session a week, where the students would log into the course and, um, and we'd communicate using this tool. In the past, however, we used a textbook and that textbook um, would, we would use to work through the activities together and I could use a PowerPoint presentation through Adobe Connect to, um, if I needed to. Last year, I was approached by the Edu1 project team and asked how I felt about going completely online and delivering our entire qualification in a fully integrated e-learning environment. I actually had no idea what I was agreeing to at the time, but the ideas that they had really amazed me. And I could tell from that very first meeting just how engaged our learners would be, particularly coming from a Gen Y target group. So um, we agreed to become part of the project and we now deliver our certificate to in business completely online. <laughs> Um, I'm certainly up to date with technology and I use lots of programs in my area of business and administration, um, but I'm in, by no means an IT guru. So um, for me, entering the world of e-learning was a little bit daunting, but also very exciting. And um, like anything new, there has been and there will continue to be challenges that we face in, in a new mode of delivery. Uh, possibly the biggest challenge we've had is being unable to control the user's computer. So students are logging on with different connectivity, diff using different browsers, different versions of software. So that's probably been the biggest challenge that, that we face with this delivery. Um, the positives certainly outweigh the negatives though because we have just been able to engage these students. Uh, some of our students um, choose to complete a TAFE course because they don't really know what direction they're taking. Um, they don't have immediate uni plans and sometimes these students are at risk of, of not completing their course. Um, our aim and what we've achieved with Edu1 is to engage that learner and our mission has been to, um, to overcome that, that barrier and really engage the student and ensure a successful completion and the technology that we have has been able to assist us to do that. Uh, with amazing support from the Edu1 team, we were able to build our course within Moodle, the learning, uh, the learning management system, and integrate the course through Adobe Connect, our virtual classroom. Um, we were able to build our activities in a fun and engaging way to really ensure that the students stayed focused and provide them with instant feedback along the way. Uh, the course was built so that it's accessible from anywhere. It's been designed to look amazing on an iPad and the students are even able to access the course on their iPhone, uh, which is uh, something that they love to do. And um, some of our students in remote areas actually travel quite a distance to school. So they can use that time on the school bus to, um, to get some of their tape work done. So that's been a real advantage. I'd love to show you our course, how it looks and how it works. And I'm going to use the screen share function in our virtual classroom to do this. So what you're seeing on your screen now is the home page that our students see when they first log into Moodle. When the student logs in and accesses this home screen, they have everything they need for their course. They access their learning materials by clicking on the units icon and they can open up uh, the unit that they're working on. This is the unit for organised and complete daily work activities. They work through the uh, material following the links. So as you can see, as we flick through, there's different links for them to follow. They access internet sites, they complete fun and interactive learning activities and even watch some videos uh, from YouTube as well. 
Uh, we found that using heaps of audio really engages the learners and, um, and keeps them focused. Um, while creating these resources has been extremely time consuming, the benefits to the student are that they're accessible at any time, day or night, and they give the students the feeling of having a teacher sitting right there with them working their way through. The feedback from our students has been amazing. There are not only some real advantages from the student's point of view, but also for teachers. I can log into Moodle at any time and see exactly where my students are up to. I can provide feedback on their work from my iPad wherever I am, and I can create self-marking quizzes and activities, uh, which reduces the amount of time I spend marking and allows me to use that time to continue to improve and update our resources. The aim is to provide the student with feedback as quickly as possible to motivate them to keep achieving. All right, let's go back to the home page and have a look. There are some really cool functions here that our students love. The first one is the instant chat. I'm just going to open that up on the screen now. We currently have a student, Tori Weeks, in the chat room here, and Tori is joining us from Tamworth today. Uh, the instant chat is used by students both in our session time and outside of the session time, um, whenever the students are working on their TAFE units. Um, they can use this to communicate with each other or with me. So I'm just going to um, type in here and see how Tori's getting on with her work today. And I'm just going to say, hi Tori, how are you going with completing the purchase orders? Now I can actually um, beat Tori and that will notify her that I'd like to talk to her. And, um, and then our message um, will come through. So um, let's see what Tori is up to. So that's going to be a live feed on Tori's screen and she's going to be typing back to me, letting me know how she's going and what she's up to. The students really love this and um, it's something that um, we really encourage them to communicate um, on. Okay, so Tori said she actually needs some help with completing a purchase order. Alright, so I'm just going to ask her to log into the virtual classroom and, um, and we can have a look together. Okay, so in a moment you'll see Tori's going to pop into the screen like magic she's appeared and she's going to share her uh, webcam view with me so we'll be able to get a visual and audio of Tori um, through her webcam. And here she is. Hi Tori, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you for being part of our demonstration. We're currently presenting at the Digital Productivity Conference in Brisbane. So Tori, you mentioned you were having trouble with completing the purchase order. We've previously watched the PowerPoint that's on the screen in our virtual classroom. Um, but let's run through this together just to make sure that um, you're going okay with that one. What I'm going to do is share my screen with Tori and just bring up the purchase order that we're completing and then Tori will be able to work through this with me. So you'll see now that purchase order coming up on the screen. Tori, just let me know when you've got a clear view of that one. Yeah. Excellent. So I could then run through exactly what the purchase order should, um, should contain. I can type directly into this document and that's going to come up live on your screen and also Tori's in, in the learning environment as well. So I could run through and describe by pointing each of these different fields and what needed to go in there. The next thing I do is say to Tori, um, you know, how is she finding that and, um, and would she like to have a go sharing her screen so we can um, work through that together but this time Tori's in control of the form. So Tori, could I get you to share your screen for me? Let's have a look and, um, and we'll complete that activity together. So Tori can simply click on share my screen. It will ask her which monitor she wants to share and that purchase order will be coming up right now. And here it is. So Tori, um, let's just demonstrate how this can, this can be used. I'll just get you to enter the purchase order number 200 in there. 
So by using this, we can really take the distance out of distance education, I guess, and, um, and provide that face-to-face -face and hands-on um, feedback and um, facilitation. We can take it one step further and I can actually request control of Tori's screen. So um, Tori's going to give me permission to do that and I'm just going to type into um, the form here um, and we'll just say that this purchase order was going to Australian Music Supplies. So if Tori was still having trouble, we could in fact go that far. I could request control of her screen and type directly onto her screen. So that's, um, that's certainly something that I find extremely valuable um, with students. Tori, we're really grateful for you to, jo um, to you for joining us today. Just before you log off, I'm sure that our audience would be interested to hear how you found our online learning environment. Sure. Um, I'm a year 12 student at Peel High School in Telworth. I'm currently completing my certificate to in business for a high school certificate. Being a part of the virtual classroom has allowed me the flexibility to log in from home and from school. It's been a fun and an interactive experience. Excellent. Thank you, Tori. Look, feel free to log off and I'll look forward to catching up with you at our next session. I'll just get you to stop sharing your screen before you do that and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Right, so Tori's, um, Tori's left us for now. Look, there are so many features of our, um, our e-learning environment that I uh, wish we had time to run through today. Uh, we've really only looked at, um, at just a few of those things. Um, just looking at the screen again, um, just to point out a few of the, the things that we have available. Um, things like the online calendar. Um, we're able to use this calendar to record assessment due dates. Uh, we have an online forum set up also where the students can discuss ideas and opinions. We have a virtual business set up uh, with an intranet page so that students can access policies and procedures, company templates and forms. So and this makes their learning as real to life as possible. Uh, it also answers, enhances the employability of the students on completion of their course and all their assessment tasks are based around this virtual business. We have an HSC revision page where students can access past papers and complete practice activities with instant feedback. We're currently uploading video blogs with industry professionals to make HSC revision more memorable and a bit more enjoyable. It really is an amazing learning environment and I really feel privileged to be a part of it. I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration today and I hope you're as excited as I am about the possibilities that e-learning creates uh, for our learners. I'll hand back to you now, Sam. Thank you.